Good morning, boys and girls. I'm so happy to see you today. I have a special video for you to watch, and I'm hoping you'll be able to join in. And it's my niece and my nephew, Haley and Blake. So have fun, and I'll see you right after. Let's play the party freeze game. Now remember, when I say freeze, freeze. And when I say dance, dance. so silly after all. Then she went to tell her father the bad news. When she got to the house, Megan heard a noise coming from the kitchen and it went oink, 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 oink. That doesn't sound like my mother. That doesn't sound like my father. That sounds like pigs. 
she looked in the window. There was her father sitting at the breakfast table. A pig was drinking his coffee. A pig was eating his newspaper and a pig was, oh no, going to the bathroom in his shoe. Ew. Megan yelled, yelled at her father. You, Megan yelled her father. You open the gate. Get these pigs out of here. Uh-oh. Megan opened the front door a little bit. The pig stood and looked at Megan. Finally, Megan opened the front door and all, all the way, and she yelled. Hey, you silly pigs! The pigs jumped up and ran over Megan, whack, 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 and out the door. Megan ran outside, chased all the pigs into the pig pen, and shut the gate. Then she looked at the pigs and said, You are still silly, little lumps on a bump. Then she ran off to school. Just as she was about to open the front door, she heard a sound. Oink, 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 oink. Uh-oh. She said, that doesn't sound like my teacher. That doesn't sound like the principal. That sounds like pigs. Megan looked at the principal's window. There was a pig drinking the principal's coffee. A pig was eating the principal's newspaper. And a pig was, oh my goodness going to the bathroom in the principal's shoes. The principal yelled, Megan, get these pigs out of here. Uh-oh, what is she gonna do? Megan opened the front door of the school a little bit. The pigs didn't do anything. She opened the door a little bit more. The pigs still didn't do anything. She opened the door all the way and yelled, hey, you silly pigs. The pigs jumped up and ran over to Megan. Whap, 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 and out the front door. Megan went into the school. She sat down at her desk and said, that's it. I finally got rid of all the pigs. Then she heard a noise. Oink, 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 oink. Megan opened her desk and there was a new baby pig. The teacher said, Megan, get that silly thing out of here. Well, he is pretty cute. Megan said, silly? Whoever said pigs were silly? Pigs are smart. I'm going to get keep it for my pet. At the end of the day, the school bus finally came. Megan walked up to the door, then heard something say, oink, 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 oink. Oh no, what's in the school bus? Megan said, that doesn't sound like the school bus driver. That sounds like a pig. She climbed up the stairs and looked into the bus. There was a pig driving the bus, pigs eating the seats, and pigs laying on the aisle. Oh boy. A pig shut the door and drove the bus down the road. It drove the bus all the way to Megan's farm, to the barnyard, and right into the pig pen. Well, that's where they needed to be. Megan got out of the bus, walked across the barnyard, and marched into the kitchen. She said, the pigs are all back in the pig pen. They came back by themselves. Pigs are smarter than you think. And look at the pig. What is he doing to the cat? <laughs> He's sticking out his tongue. What a silly pig. And Megan never let any Not any more pigs. Uh-oh, I, I hope she doesn't let that elephant go. Okay, my friends, that was a fun story. I wonder if any of you guys have any pets like pigs. Okay, my friends, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. And remember, you're awesome. And I will see you again soon. Bye.